All right, this is going to be a shorter one. This is going to use GRGSM and the GSM Evil 2. I've shown in the past, but some changes uh, for GSM Evil 2 uh, require, uh, well, really it requires a Python virtual environment, so I'll show how to set that up. And uh, trust me, this all works. Uh, I can't show everything, but uh, in this little test environment here, there's going to be a GSM 900 network, so we need to find that. And if we um, have our HackRF plugged in, and we've got the firmware updated with what's included in uh, DragonOS under other firmware. If you haven't already flashed it, you're looking at 2022.09.1 uh, firmware. And the nice thing about the new DragonOS uh, Focal X, you don't have to, you don't necessarily have to specify the specific uh, device. And uh, maybe I'll get around to explaining that in the future uh, with the uh, dash dash args like I've shown in the past videos. I mean, you can, but uh, all I'm going to do in, in this case is uh, GRGSM scanner. I know the band is GSM 900. Not really going to change anything else. I'm not too concerned about gain because it's pretty close. And we'll do dash V and dash D. If you do see this um, soapy uh, Volk converter thing, I do encourage running a Volk profile at least once on your system. That'll speed up uh, GNU radio. And in this case, I put um, this soapy Volk converters that in some cases uh, speeds up. Uh, apparently uh, some of the soapy modules for different SDRs so just remember uh, pull up a terminal run Vogue profile at least once on your system that's kind of a, a reminder to do that all right so we're looking for this GSM 900 network now the other thing that I'm going to do different in this video that I may have done in the past I can't remember is instead of running uh, GRGSM live mon uh, so that it is running on uh, essentially local host where you would normally run your MZ catcher script and this demonstration uh, okay and we can see we found um, the information we're looking for there in this case we're going to run GRGSM live mon but we're going to send the uh, information that we want to look at to another system on the network so picture having you know some of these devices and then sending back to one central uh, collector and then looking through that for the information that you want so anyways let's see uh, so we've got we've got our frequency here that we were looking for uh, let's see 953 and 954 so GR uh, let me go back to the history here so we've got GRGSM live mom. We're going to ask, add the argument collector and an IP address, which is another system uh, that I have running here, DragonOS. And we'll try uh, 9, let's see, 9, 953. If not, we'll go to 955. So all right. Oh, and since we're dumping that information elsewhere, we can just to check ourselves here we can take this off a second okay so we'll go with 950 955 so this is you know essentially what you're looking for here but if we run it with that collector it's going to be sending that information somewhere else so I don't think we'll see it here okay so now we're going to uh, come over to our to our other system here we're going to go to user source GSM evil 2 and you'll notice in the database directory this is where your MZDB and uh, SMS DB will be at have one here because I just was messing with it so how do we get this running this time so let's go sudo su we'll drop or we'll jump to we'll jump uh, ju uh, jump to the root user 
and then we need to source the VNV bin activate. You see now we're in our uh, actually it's a Python 3.8 virtual environment with what we need to run uh, GSM evil. And so now all we have to do is I think oh the other thing too is that's uh, well since we're root but if not you would use um, sudo but let's take a look at the gsm evil.py file I made one change to this okay you can see it's using PyShark there's going to be filters that are uh, placed on here to to make it do what it needs to do this interface was just on the loopback LO, LO so in my case I changed it to the interface of the um, well the Ethernet port that has that IP address that I told the GS, GRGSM live mon to send to so we need to change that interface to to line that up so as that information is coming in we are looking at that interface and then pulling out um, what we're looking for this same concept could be done with um, the MZ catcher script if configured properly I just find this uh, pretty nice with the uh, web interface so we'll do don't forget we'll do a Python 3.8 GSM evil uh, we might need to do actually we can just refer to my directions here all right so Python 3.8 GSM evil 2 and because we are root I, that's why I didn't put in there so all right we're gonna go local host port 80 now I'm not gonna be able to show much because I don't have any equipment on that network but I do know that this works so come in here MZ sniffer we'll turn that on you'll want to see MZ sniffer started here um, okay so now with this setup we're sending information from GRGSM LiveMon and the HackerF over to one central uh, collector in this case this this other system that's running GSM Evil 2 and uh, if there was um, equipment there then you would be getting what you expect to see on this end from either one or multiple um, GRGSM uh, LiveMon um, setups basically all right so uh, it's just short I'm just showing how to set this up if you wanted to use it um, of course uh, pay attention to you know your Faraday cage and having things set up uh, the way you should for this test environment all right thanks